Hi, this is Rick here. Welcome to Digital Fortress. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Trezor with Uroi to stake on Cardano. We're going to start by going to the Uroi Wallet website. The link is shown here in my web browser. Notice I do not have the Uroi plugin installed yet. I'm going to need to install it, then put the Trezor on. So watch how I do it here. I'm going to go to Download, Chrome Mainnet, Add to Chrome for your ROI, Add Extension. Now the extension is installed in your ROI. It's checking, and it says your ROI has been added to Chrome. Use this extension by clicking on the icon. To view the icon at all times, I can select this little puzzle indicator and pin your ROI that way the icon is showing in my web browser. Now I'm going to launch Eroi. I select the icon by clicking on it and set it up. Under select language I have English selected and hit continue. Read over the terms of use and hit I agree and I hit continue. Then you have the options of simple and advanced. I'm going to start with simple and it asks if I want to use Cardano payment URLs. I'm going to skip that for now. I can set it up later and confirm. And I'm going to connect a hardware wallet. I already have my Trezor plugged in. If it's not plugged in, Yoroi will prompt later to plug it in. So I'm going to select Connect Hardware Wallet. It says pick a currency or platform. I'm going to use Cardano and I select it. And Trezor Hardware Wallet. Also, the only one currently supported, Ledger coming soon. Then I select the Shelly Arrow Wallet because I want a wallet I can stake from. Then I have the prerequisite shown here, the Trezor Model T with version 2.10 or later. The device is pre-initialized and connected. The computers remain connected to the internet and the Trezor device remain connected to the computer and I hit next. Now it says to connect the Trezor and I hit connect. My Trezor is currently locked so I'm going to swipe to unlock it. Enter the pin. And hit export on the public key. This will send the public key from the Trezor to Yoroi. Now it found a public key that I have named Megatron or a wallet that I have named Megatron here. Then I hit save and that will put Megatron's public key inside this Yoroi Chrome extension. You can see here a test transaction that I made earlier. Now I have zero ADA in this wallet. So next I need to send some ADA to this wallet and then we'll delegate it. So I'm going to hit receive and bring in some ADA. Now you can see that I've received 20 ADA in this wallet under transactions. Now that I have ADA, I can delegate it. I go to the delegation center and I got to find a stake pool ID. To find a stake pool ID, you can locate one of your favorite stake pools or do some research by going to adapools.org. I'm going to use adapools.org in this example. I'm going to use Digi2. And here's the pool ID. So I copy that pool ID and it says copied. Pool ID FB21D3, etc. I'm going to paste that into Yoroi. So I paste that pool ID here and it locates the pool as Digital Fortress. Then I hit Next, and here's the amount I can stake. I'm going to stake all of the ADA in the wallet. There's a 2 ADA staking key registration cost. I've already paid that, so it only says 0.17 ADA. The first time you do this, there will be 2 ADA on here. You'll get that back when you undelegate the wallet. Then I hit Delegate, and now I authenticate with my Trezor. So it's allowing the extension. I always leave don't ask me again unchecked. And I hit allow once for this session. When I hit allow, it's going to check the Trezor and say confirm the delegation. You can see that shown here. Okay. To confirm the delegation, I swipe. And then I hit this green button shown here. It says the transaction amount and the fee. Okay, then I swipe and I press to confirm and hold. Once that green circle completes and I get the check, 
the delegation has taken place. Here you can see that the transaction took place. The delegation is going to be called ADA Intra Wallet Transaction. You can look at the details by selecting it and you'll see that this is a stake delegation and not a regular transaction. Now I can go to the dashboard and here I see on my dashboard that the delegation is 19.8 ADA, the rewards, the epics and when they occur when the upcoming rewards are and there's this little exclamation point here that explains when the first rewards will occur. So make sure to check that. As your rewards accrue, they will show up in this bar graph down here. Very cool. And there's also a button to check the pool's web page. This is my web page for Digital Fortress, and I show uh, the Digi and Digi2 stake pool IDs here. So you can either get them from the web page or from Ada Pools or from Pool Tool, as shown here. Okay, so that is how you stake from Yoroi. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching Digital Fortress. Thank you for staking with Digi. Have a great day. Bye-bye.